Are we back? Um, technically. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Thank you for pets. I am struggling. Yeah, let me just... Let's get through all this. Can you share your screen with me, please? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So sorry. It's okay. Since everything... Yeah, I had to restart my computer, so I had to restart, like, everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 no worries. I think you might be a bit, qu uh, a bit too close to your mic, or maybe the gain is too strong. I, might, I don't know. I might, be, I might be too close. My gain's down pretty low, so okay. I'll move it. Okay, thank you. Okay. まどを開ける必要はないと思います。え。はあ。Where ジョージ Did we stop here? Here, yeah, yeah, you can you can pick up from here. Okay, let me open my chessboard thingy. So I can Oh Why does everything has to be so stressful? <laughs> I'm sorry that's not enough on this foot. This door is much simpler. It was sealed from the inside by the door, by the door chain. They went, wah! Great. <laughs> Mia! <laughs> that was the... The hat pat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe no more hat pats. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, okay. The door the door was sealed by the door chain. The window had also been closed from the inside and the bodies had been in the room. This time it really had been without exaggeration a true closed room. They are like 
way too into the concept of the closed room. Oh, you gonna? There's gonna be so much closed room discussion. Like so, so much. Damn. <laughs> Close room enjoyers. Oh, there. Uh, Battler specifically is a very much a close room enjoyer. Uh, if you include grandfather's disappearance, three cases have occurred, and all three times the door had been the point of interest. For the first was the shutter. There was a key in the servant room, and if we has the mic been okay so far? Maybe so far so good. Maybe rebooting my computer helped somehow. I don't know. Fingers crossed, yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, there was a key in the servant room, and if we assume someone knew about that, this can't really be called a closed room. The next was the door sealed by the receipt. However, since Natsuhi Obasan had entered the room, even if grandfather had left through the window or been thrown out, she would have been able to lock the window before escaping. Yeah, no more, no more head pads. They are messing with the game. I just have so many toggles that I'm really dreading the idea of remapping them. Uh, or like my theory, he could have hidden until the receipt was gone and left the room later. Basically, this door can be defeated with a handful of desperate tricks. In that sense, you really can't call this one a closed room either. And now we have the door sealed with a door chain. Finally, we have to give up. The window, the door, everything had been locked. It was a perfect closed room. The first hadn't been a closed room because everyone could be suspected. The second hadn't been a closed room because Natsuhi Obasan could be suspected. But this time, no one can be su suspected. This room was a perfect closed room because everyone had been sealed outside just as uh, completely as everyone else because of the door chain. I forgot. I forgot to hey, turn on my dress and hair back. There we go. My Omineko Sunday attire. Tashkani.チェーンであれ以上人が通れるほどは開けなくても多少の隙間を開けることができる。ノックして。顔を覗かせたところを襲うとか。いや、甘いか。甘いよな。エバオバさんの遺体が扉のすぐそばだったなら、それも考えたぜ。だが、エバオバさんは部屋の奥のベッドの上。しかも、秀吉おじさんはバ
I know it sounds really unpleasant. Like, I, yeah, I've been listening to that sound too. Been on a lookout. I know, like, really bad. So sorry. I tap Maria, who was laughing unpleasantly, on the head with my fist. Bonk. Ah. Peace and love. Ah. Kanaete kurete arigato yo. Ima no asono reto. Fukinshin na toki ni waratta koto eno kyouiku teki shidou da. Sore yori oshiyagare. Eva oba san tachi no heya no tobira ni mo. Mata ayashige na raku ga kiga sarete ita. Kare mo mata mahou jin na no ka. <laughs> he's like, completely disregards. Oh, yeah, he's it. already not even off put by it. He's just like, yeah, Maria, stop being creepy. You. Mm hmm. Just accepting it. You stupid kid. あれは特に覚えやすい特徴的な形なんだから、あのくらい知ってて欲しいね。相手。知らねえから花を持たせてやってんだ。ごちゃごちゃ言わねえで解説しろい。バトラは暴力的だね。あんまり意地悪すると教えないよ。相手。He <笑><笑> <笑>記録されているのは旧約聖書詩編第百七編の十六節主は聖堂の扉を破り鉄の管抜きを打ち破ってくださいました。つまり。魔法の力に頼らなきゃ開けぬ密室の扉っていう魔女様のアピールってわけかもう一つの効用は開かぬ扉を発砲塞がりの事態に見立て扉を開く何階な事態の時に用いることでそれまで思いつきもしなかった解
I also started watching Stranger Things. Um, I just finished first season. I was really glad to see the boy got saved after all. Yeah. Well, but yeah. Yeah. I'm not like I'm not like super into it. I like um Charlie watched it. So, and I just finished another like horror series, so I thought I'll give it a try. I never like I don't really know anything about Stranger Things. I just know that it's like about a bunch of kids. Mm -hmm. So I decided to give it a try, but it, like I don't know. It's a bit boring. I'm I'm <laughs> Maybe I'm just like too old, but I was. I'm just. I'm on a more serious horror um, vibe right now, so maybe sure. I'll. I. I mean, it's not like bad. I really like the way it's filmed, mm -hmm. but I think the first season specifically, like the first half, was kind of. Not even a half. Like the first six episodes could easily been like three episodes instead. <laughs> I haven't watched Stranger Things season one in a really long time. I watched it when it first came out mm -hmm. in 2016, so I can't really comment on specifics is, since okay. it's been That's so long. Like ten years ago. Yeah, um, but I really enjoyed Stranger. I I like Stranger Things. I've seen mm -hmm. all of. I've seen all of it. Um, the first yeah, season. I, hear I still. The third season like really picks up. Yeah. So the second season I think is probably the weakest. Um, mm. Third third definitely picks more up and i enjoyed the fourth like it's not a perfect seat it's not a perfect series i mean nothing is first of all um but there are there are definitely there are definitely flaws but i enjoy it like i enjoy the vibe um i think that it's interesting um so i do plan on watching because the flat the next season the fifth season is supposed to be the final season so mm -hmm. i'm definitely gonna finish it um, but yeah, it, there, it's got ups and downs. I do, I like it, but there are parts of it that are annoying. So, but I, I'm a, I'm a horror fan. Um, I do tend, I don't actually watch a whole lot of like horror movies or mm -hmm. series. I'm more like games, yeah. um, and anime. Um, but every so often, and like Stranger Things is like horror light. I mean, like yeah, there are definitely it is for kids. Yeah, it, it well, yeah. The later seasons are less kid friendly, in my opinion. Um, so it does get a little bit more mature as the kids grow up because they grow yeah. up over the course. Yeah. Um, yeah I do want to give it a try. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Even if, like, it's kind of slow to pick up, if it gets better, I would be willing. Because, like, it's not like I have a whole lot to do. <laughs> Yeah. I have the time. But yeah, I, I really, ever since I beat Signalis with Bunny, I really oh. do want to try more horror games, namely Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Like, I've never played them. I know a lot of people love them, and they're like super iconic to the genre. So I think it's what I gotta do. Yeah. But I don't know one, because I'm just like... I really wish I had more stamina for streaming. Like, the reason I usually stream, like, three times a week tops these days is not because I'm, like, super busy even. I mean, I am, but not, like, a whole day. But, yeah, I just don't have a whole lot of stamina. Fair. I wish I could stream every day. I really do. I wish I was <laughs> one of those people. But yeah, I'm so we're playing Omineko and I'm also playing Undertale Yellow right now. I'm also playing uh, Raincode right now. I want to start streaming Pokemon Scarlet Violet. And then, yeah, I also want to stream horror games. <laughs> So many, so many good so games. So much, and that For is only time. games. I also yeah, want to yeah. stream art and karaoke and like do collabs and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's so, just, there's just not enough hours in the day. It's like a real conundrum for me. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm a person who knows me or not. I don't know if I'm a person who knows me or not. But if I'm a person who knows me, I'm a person who knows me. Yeah, 
Three times is like a golden middle. It's like almost half a week. Mm -hmm. So they're uh, yeah. So they're uh, like yeah. Three times is really optimal because that way there are always breathing breather times, breather days in between the streams. Because even if I stream two days in a row, I'm like already I get so exhausted. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think three times a week is the perfect sweet spot. Yeah, but unfortunately that means that I can only stream a game like once a week. <laughs> a yeah. One game. しかし、どうやって生成10センチ程度しか開かない扉の隙間からどうやったら室内の2人を？それにしても耐え難い匂いです。what the hell is the smell? Before they even reached the kitchen, Kanon and Kumasawa, who had gone ahead, realized that the smell wasn't coming from there. They said it was like... Smoking... Smoking? Smell? Or what was it? Did they not mention like, it? I... I think they said it was like rotten, like... Rotten uh, eggs. Oh yeah, here. that's right. Do you want to take over? Sure. That was because on their way to the kitchen, they realized that an even thicker wave of stench was rising up the stairs leading to the basement. Boirast. Mata, boira no choshi ga waru in desu ka. But hey, the mic seems to be fixed. Yeah. That is very good. That is. I'm so glad. God. Peace and love on planet Earth. <laughs> oh yeah. Those stairs led to the underground boiler room. The mansion's boiler was old and in poor condition. Both of them had witnessed problems with the boiler on several occasions, but they had never smelled the boiler belching out a stench like this before. Also not really related to anything, but I'm going to be drawing a Valentine's Day illustration with Rorix D members, my stream team members, and yeah, last time I drew a, like a winter illustration with Andu, Mephisto, and Nyari. Yeah, so I'm really excited because this time I am planning to do a whooping four character illustration because like oh, Valentine's wow. Day is such a rare occasion. So I really wanted to include as many as I can, and I am also going to be uh, drawing myself on that one. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. It's gonna be real cute. Can't wait to see. Yeah. You guys, I mean, you guys are all my regulars here right now, but yeah, please support our stream team. We have a website and everything. I have a link and a bottom left corner so please support our members our team is like so wonderful bam the sound they had heard from the basement had definitely been the sound of a door closing kumasawa tried to speak as though asking a question but she had already realized that the sound couldn't have been anything else Kumasawa was so surprised at that sound that her knees gave way yet again and she cowered. Because, at that very moment, no one could have been in the boiler room. Bitch, she got cold. <laughs> she wanted to go warm up. She wanted to turn up the heat a bit. Mm hmm mm hmm Just a few seconds ago, everyone had been crowded together around Eva and Hideyoshi's room. So who caused the sound of a door- we're closing just now. <laughs> After taking a second to sort out the situation, Kanon ran downstairs towards the basement. Kanon! Hi, Kanon! <laughs> Since they had heard the sound of a door closing just now, there was no trace of someone climbing the stairs. You cannot go alone! Away! <laughs> It meant that the person who had closed the door was now inside the boiler room. If the boiler room had been a dead end, Kanon wouldn't have rushed in so hastily. 
Yesterday, I painted my nails white because I Ooh. saw a video and it looked really cute, but... And, like, it is cute, but also... <laughs> you know those, like, what are they called? Whiteouts? The oh, corrector yeah. thingies that you would yeah, use on... Yeah, correction fluid. On, yeah, correction fluid you would use on your notes at school. It yeah. really... Oh, I can, I can totally... Hold on. Yeah, I can totally show you. I didn't take any pictures, so let me... But yeah, it like I did a good job, I think. It's just it, it looks like I was just bored in class. So I decided to paint my nails with a uh, correction fluid. Yeah, let me send it to Aaron and then I'm going to copy it. Ay ay ay. Scary ass music as I'm talking about my nails. <laughs> the suspense. The suspense. But yeah, my nails are like really... My claws, if you will. My nails are like really fragile. So, like every time I... Like I occasionally go to get a manicure. Just like normal stuff. A little bit of manicure. Mm -hmm. A little bit of nail polish. And every time I go... The person doing my the manicure, the manicure person will always be like, "Oh, you have such baby nails. You have such baby hands." In a way that like usually adult adults have like thicker nails, but mine are like pretty indistinguishable from just like a child's hand. Oh, that's huge. Hold on. Uh Uh, there we go. But yeah, here's what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, I have like really small hands and really like I have baby nails. Baby so hands. So they are like really they break often. Um, so sometimes I will just get nail polish to strengthen them a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Small hands club. Yeah, like I have, I, I have small hands too. Yeah, I'm on such copium in regarding to my appearance. Like I want to be, I want to be like a sexy adult woman so bad. But in reality, I'm just like have not really changed much ever since I turned like I don't know 16. Well, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't grown an inch since I was 12. So. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm four foot 11, which is 150 centimeters. Oh, so. you're s even smaller than me. I'm, yeah. I'm five two. Yeah, I'm, I'm tiny. Yeah. <laughs> then I guess the way our avatars are aligned is pretty accurate right now. Yep. 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 <laughs> accurate indeed. Yeah. Kind of chatty today. Mmm, Chatty's good. Mmm. But Kalan was a servant, so he knew. He been no. He knows things. There were two entrances, one that opened to the mansion and one that opened to the courtyard. I will never live down the moment someone thought you were my much younger sister when you came to my school to pick up my stuff and they almost didn't give it to you because of that. Yeah, so Naps is my sibling four years younger. So, <laughs> yeah, this is something that happened. People Terrible. also People also used to think we were twins a lot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Naps and uh, I, we look like really similar. We do, but yeah. still, we are four years apart. Mm hmm. I have had people mistake my younger brother, who's three years younger than me, for my older brother because he's a foot taller than I am. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. And once I was at home, and this was after I graduated college, so I was like 23 years old, um, and I was living at home, and my parents had a. Um, new dishwasher delivered uh -huh. and so the, the delivery man came and I was the only one home so I was like oh okay I'll sign for it and he looked at me and he said I need somebody who's over 18 
to sign for this and I looked yeah. at him and I said I said I'm 23 and he looked at yeah. me like he didn't believe me I was like dude yeah every time something like this happens it's just so weird it gives such weird whiplash it's mm -hmm. like when someone knocks in the door and they look at you and they're like are your parents home <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I'm an adult woman, thanks. One time I was paying uh, for, like, popcorn or something at the movie theater, and the uh -huh. cashier, like, I, I'm, like, handing her my, my debit card, and she was like, whose card is this? I'm like... It's mine? It's my <laughs> card. <laughs> uh, small forever. Yup. If he didn't chase them now, they might slip away. Kumasawa reach, reached the same conclusion long after Kanon did. But she couldn't let him go alone. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this grandma. Take this grandma? Take this grandma with you. If the thing in the boiler room was the culprit, an opponent who had easily killed six adults in the first mortar, Mortar. Mortar, sorry. <laughs> okay. Murder. Uh, then no matter how Kanon confronted them, he wouldn't be a man. Of course, with this argument, even if Kumasawa joined him, it wouldn't change anything. But yeah, also, yeah, you envy. Uh, I really, like, facial hair gotta be so annoying. Like, I totally- I will, like, I would never, like, blame anyone for not shaving, because, like, I don't, so, like... And, like, shaving your face, not only are you required to constantly, like, put blades near your face, but also, like, it will get back the very next morning? Yeah. That sounds so annoying. I can't imagine dealing with that, yeah. Yeah. Like, people talk a lot about the, like, you know, like, preferences and what they... Oh, you mean, like, stubble? What? It, does it count... Does it come with the next two hours? I'm like, how does it grow so fast? Hey. But yeah, like, everyone loves to talk about preferences and other people's appearances. But, like, have you, have you ever just stopped and considered how much effort, like, anything <laughs> takes? For real. God. Yeah. At any rate, after a delay, Kumasawa decided that she mustn't let Kanon go alone, and she dashed down the stairs. I mean, I'm a cat. It would be weird if I shaved. That's true. We don't. We don't want a shaved cat. Unless, you know, unless they are like already uh, a hairless cat. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm The Sphinxes. Sisyphus Boulder. Stay strong, soldier. At that time, Kanon was already in the boiler room. Boiling him. Boiling him! No! <laughs> Kanon soup! No! <laughs> the boiler room's characteristic damp heat tormented him. It had always been an unpleasantly smelly and hot place. Yummy soup. <laughs> Twink <laughs> soup. No! <laughs> Slurp. <laughs> mm, yum. Glad you enjoy. <laughs> Uh, and on top of that, the room was full of that horrible stench, which made Kanon feel like he was going to be sick. There was no doubt that this room was the origin. In that case, Kanon should have been searching for where the smell was coming from. I'm scared. What if there's yeah. another body in there? <laughs> like, if someone died in a boiler room, especially if it was, like, near water or something, like, the steam would carry the rotten smell. I think it's sure. entirely possible. Sure would. However, Kanon kept gazing straight forward as he grabbed a hatchet from a tool shelf just off to the side of the door. Oh, hi, Tanshi! 
Ayo! Thank you for a clip! Sprout, you're the best. He hadn't stretched out his hand because he wanted a hatchet. He had wanted to grab a weapon, any weapon. Mm, I love soup. <laughs> Why? For a second, I thought you weren't reading, but just instead said, "Just so why? Why? <laughs> why do you love why soup? Why do you love soup? <laughs> Leah, why? Why? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Hanon gazed into the darkness where the naked light bulb couldn't pierce. That is such a sentence. It sure is. Put some clothes on. The darkness, the darkness gazed back. Then he answered, The words coming from Kanon's mouth were swallowed up by the darkness. That darkness suddenly started to swirl, glittering. Magic? What the hell? It is Beatrice! Yes, she's here! You're not supposed to chase the butterflies. What a weird sound. Yeah, a very fantastical scene. Golden sparkling butterflies that hid in the shadows all over the boiler room flapped their wings, twinkling beautifully, and gathered in the darkness, disappearing. Kanon continued speaking, directing his words at the darkness as it swallowed the butterflies up. But as the butterflies gathered in the darkness, they... perhaps... probably... no, they must have... laughed. The butterflies... no, they when couldn't the, have. When the butterflies laugh... <laughs> but Kanon continued to speak without faltering in the slightest. Gakuni, おやかたさまとお前がどんな魔法を求めてルーレットに挑んでいるのかゲットファン。しかしお前は忘れているルーレットには赤でも黒でもない目が出うること忘れている。pocket called zero which means that the house takes everything in certain variants of the game this means that all the coins bet on the table will be swept up just as though everyone has forfeit oh i just remembered uh there's also going to be a special valentine's day rorg's d stream where we're going to hang out in vr chat Oh, I think it's going to be February 12th, if I remember correctly. It's going to be on our shared Twitch account. You can find a link. I mean, we're going to be posting about it anyway. Yeah. It's going to be so fun. There's like a really pretty VR chat world that we picked. Ice. I <laughs> もし。シャノンが殺されて僕が生き残るようなことがあったならこの身を投げ出してお前のルーレットを全て台無しにしてやろうと。ガッダウン。The Bokwa. Mo Kaguja nai. 
We still don't know what that even means, but we know that he is no longer. Maybe it just means that they're like supposed to stand by and not do anything, maybe? Who's to say? The what know. furniture what furniture means is indeed one of the central mysteries. Really? Yeah. Is there at least like a clear answer to that? Um there is, but you're not gonna know it for a long time. <laughs> that is okay. I love a good mystery. Yeah. Kanon's face was twisted with humiliation. It was clear that his self-restraint was being ridiculed somehow. Kanon's brow creased even further, and a furious expression that Kanon had never shown anyone appeared on his face. The hand grasping the hatchet was shaking. His sweat became drops which slid down. It was clear that the emotion causing Kanon's hand to shake was not anger alone. However, Kanon suppressed that emotion. Kanon's so badass. He is. Do you want to take over? Yeah! When Kanon swung the hatchet upwards and tried to dive into the darkness, the darkness definitely sneered. The darkness literally <laughs> smiled back. Exactly! You called it! It sneered at that courage as vulgar, lazy, futile, and meaningless. Smug, smug darkness. Wow. What the hell? What was that? Come on, his hatchet still held aloft. <laughs> darkness, smug, Beatrice, face, dot JPEG. Uh, couldn't take another step after that. With a clang. The hatchet that Kanon had been grasping fell and rolled on the floor. Kanon! And following that, with a pair of thuds, Kanon's neat hit left, then right. The hand, which looked like it was trying to catch the sky now that the hatchet has been dropped, gradually lowered, landing on his chest. <coughs> then the other hand did the same. No! Right there, a handle with a demon-shaped design was buried into his chest. No. No. The same type of weapon that had been stabbed into Eva and Hideyoshi's foreheads was in Kanon's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop joking around! Stop it! Oh, stop! Stop it! Kanon was curled up in anguish, fresh blood dripping from the corner of his mouth. It was makeup over Kanon's white skin. <laughs> it's okay, I'm joking too. Around this scene, the glittering gold butterflies danced through the darkness, mesmerizing. It was a beautiful, beautiful dance. A funeral march of tribute, ridicule, and contempt for a single boy's self-sacrifice. The furniture has been recycled. No! Stop! <laughs> Kanon had already, already been prepared for his own death. But although he could do nothing but accept the death he had received, he attempted one last measure of resistance. I guess it has to do with the... Order of the deaths in the epitaph? Because there's like a very specific order. Yes. I think. You are correct. Yes. Because the yeah. first the first twilight was the six chosen by the key. The second twilight is to pull apart the two who are close, and now we have the gouging of various body parts, starting with the chest. 
He grasped the handle of the weapon, sticking into his chest with both hands, and gritting his teeth with an acute, unearthly, unearthly pain. Casper, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy the stream. Or not. We're suffering here. Let's suffer together. For only a moment, a bright red spray gushed out. It made an unpleasant bloop sound. <sighs> it probably resembled the sound of Kanan's soul as if as it was sucked into a swamp of the dead. No! Kumasawa has like conveniently avoided the other death scenes. Now she has to see the boy. Yeah. <laughs> Kumasawa screamed at the incomprehensible sight in front of her. Kanon was lying in a pool of blood. Kumasawa's heart was a complete mess. Ah, uh, what a horrible fate. He couldn't have been killed if I had been with him. Ah, uh, what incredible luck. If I had been with him, I might have been killed too. As she screamed, her expression was filled with a complete confusion, and all of the muscles of her face were pulled up, almost uh, as though she was smiling without crying, while crying. I don't know much about Omaneko, but I'm very familiar with Higurashi, so I imagine you're yeah. in for a ride, friend. Yeah, it's like so long, and yeah, so this is my first time playing, but Aaron has already played these, and yes. this is the first game, so yeah, enjoy. Yeah, We're I am a when they cry. For a long time. Indeed, I'm a when they cry veteran, Higurashi, Umineko, and Kikonia. Amazing. No one could have made fun of an expression such as this. The first one to dash in was Natsuhi, holding the rifle. Butler and Genji dashed in after her. Thank you. Normally, they probably would have started discussing the origin of the violent stench filling the boiler room. Filling the boiler room. But after they saw Kanon, who was lying on the ground as if he were drowning in an ocean of his own blood, the stench wasn't important anymore. What was the stench, though? Ripped you in a minute. Natsuki realized that even though Kanon was on the verge of death, he was still conscious, so she sent Genji to get the doctor. Natsuki holding the rifle aloft. Is it a loft or a loft? A loft. A loft. Faced the darkness in the center of the boiler room and shouted, She will not hesitate. <laughs> Battler, thinking quickly, took a large flashlight from the tool shelf alongside the door and used its light to cut through the darkness Natsuhi was glaring into. But the light only shone on mechanical looking piping and a door. The door had been left open a small crack, and it was obvious that someone had left through there in a hurry. <laughs> Butler let out a war cry as he slammed into the door. Cool air from outside suddenly rushed in. There were some thin, rough stairs leading up. Butler ran up them, shouting. Natsuki was also rushing up the stairs, chasing after Battler. They were in a courtyard. The courtyard of the mansion had been built strictly for lighting purposes, so it wasn't a very elegant place. Because it was surrounded in all, on all sides, the air was calm and completely undisturbed, even though they could hear the sound of strong winds. There was only the gentle surf. Sorf, 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 
So sorrow, sorrow, full, sorrow, sorrow. <laughs> Sorrowful. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Well, well. As he ran through the cold and scattered raindrops dashing up the stairs into the courtyard, Butler looked in every direction. <laughs> so woeful. Wow. <laughs> Of course, the odds of him finding a suspicious silhouette just standing around nonchalantly were pretty much zero. Butler turned around, looking in all directions. He turned again and again. He kept spinning until he almost lost his sense of direction. Don't break your neck! He prayed that he would see the culprit somewhere in the scenery, but there was no chance. All he saw, uh, all he saw as he spun was more and more of the mansion's heartless walls and windows. Furthermore, there were two entrances into the mansion from the courtyard, and neither of them were locked. Because the courtyard couldn't be entered from outside the mansion, the doors had been built without locks. He didn't know which one they had left, they left through. He had to give up. Butler pounded the wall with his fist. Swearing. Do I take over? Sure. Put his head against the wall and scratched at it with his fingernails as he cried. Battler when they cry. Battler. <laughs> Absolutely. Battler when he cries. <laughs> and he'll be crying a lot. Yeah, there's like not a whole lot of characters left. It's a dwindling party. あの君とは昨日会ったばかりだがきっとこれから仲良くなれたと思うぜ。なんで殺したんだ。どうせ。どうして人ってのはな。この竹の子みてえにひょいひょい生えてきちゃ来ねえんだぞ。おい。どうして
とにかく一度下に戻りましょう犯人を探すより自分たちの身を守る方が最優先です明日になれば船が来るそうすれば警察がやってきて全てを白日のもとに晒し出してくれるでしょう犯人がどうあがこうともこの島から逃げられるものですか<笑>そうっすね警察さん And the seagulls cry, the crime will be solved. They said the thing! They said the thing! But for some reason, Badler felt a slight sense of uneasiness, as if the seagulls would never cry again. The Umaneko when they not cry. When they, when they don't when they cry. Don't cry. No, no, Naku. That couldn't be true. なくなくなる<笑><笑>おめねこのなくなくなる頃に<笑><笑> When the typhoon passes, the lively seagulls should return to the harbor again We turned to the boiler room along with Natsuhi Obasan and told everyone weekly that we hadn't found anything. Dr. Nanjo and George Aniki carried Kanon kun to the servant room. The servant room had a first aid kit and a sink and could apparently function as a nurse's office. The teacher right now is like, hey, you, Kanon, you ruined my combo. <laughs> Kumasawa-san and Jessica accompanied them. Stains from Kanon Kud's stains from Kanon Kud's blood remained on the floor. Judging by the large amount of blood lost in the ruthless shape of the weapon that had fallen carelessly to the ground, I figured that Doctor Nanjo's treatment would probably end in vain. I don't want to be like. Me, but Nanjo really like. I know he's like just here for Kenzo, but he really has not helped a single character so far. Full. Oh, what did you say? It cut off. No,、uh, I just said he's not been very helpful. Hi, Ninix. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you again. We're suffering.、Hmm? Enjoy the suffering. That weapon was doubtlessly the same type that had been stuck in Eva Obasan and Hideyoshi Oji san's foreheads. But wait, isn't the demonic design on the hand a little different? There seem to be some small differences in that part. Maybe they are collectibles. Mm hmm. <laughs> Collect、Perhaps. them all. <laughs> Collect them all. u m i n e k o when they suffer. <laughs> yeah, real. Still, as far as their overall shape was concerned, the weapons were all of the same type. Though it had seemed brutal, we'd left the weapons that had been stuck into Eva Obasan and Hideyoshi Oji san to preserve the crime scene. You recently finished、uh, ridding a Maneko? Like all of it? Like all of it? <laughs> His days of holding that doctor's license are numbered. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he's letting people die. I'm just, I'm just saying. He didn't like do anything unethical, I don't think. Oh, he's just not been very proactive either. He's just like kind of late most of the time, if anything. Yeah. So this, is,、uh, so this was the first time we were able to have a perfect view of the entire weapon. As we had expected, the weapon was not bladed like a knife, but shaped like an ice pick. <sighs> Or rather, a thin stake. And also, it had a spiral shaped pattern that might have been like a drill. An ice pick. Thin spiral shaped pattern. 
-hmm. like a drip. Mm -hmm. That sounds so confusing. <laughs> it looked like something that might have been driven into the hearts of human sacrifices in some demonic ritual. Oh, okay, so it is some kind of weird ritual it, weapon, it's maybe. A, yeah. <laughs> Including the handle, it was 25 centimeters long. Pretty normal knife length. Half of that was the stake-shaped part, which was stained with deep red blood. Kind of like a hand drill or something? A mm, little bit. The length of the blood-stained part made it clear just how deeply it must have been penetrated into Kanon Kun's chest. But Natsuhi Obasan and the rest didn't even look at the weapon and instead stood in front of the incinerator where the horrible stench was emanating from. Incinerator? So it's not just a boiler room? Correct. So, yeah, they probably just, like, burned someone there. They had probably pulled out that which had been burnt up in the furnace. It was still smoldering and kept sending out dense waves of that awfully unpleasant smell. Oh, hi, Gwenny! So nice to see you! Hi, hi! Gwenny and I have been in the talks of doing a cover. We're so excited. We decided Ooh. on... Tokyo Mew Mew ending song, Koi a la mode. Fun. Yeah. I want to do a cover with you as well, Aaron. Me too. Aren't we going to do style sometime? Yeah, we should really get our hands on that. Genji san and Matia stared down at it. Natsuhi Obasan probably couldn't stand to look directly at it. She kept shaking her head, her back to it. <laughs> oh. I'd thought that after everything that happened, nothing could surprise me anymore, but this was... <sighs> I stood there for a while, moaning with a rising urge to vomit. The true form of that unearthly stench which came from the burnt insides of the incinerator was the smell of a charred corpse. The clothes, the surface of the body, and the hair were all hideously burned. That grotesque corpse was in a state where not the face, nor the age, nor even the gender could be guessed at. Maybe it could be Kinzo? It's been mm. missing for a while. Mm. Could it be an entirely new person? I don't know. But when I thought about it calmly, I realized that a corpse appearing at this time could only be one person. Oh? Oh! It was Grandfather, who had disappeared that morning and whose whereabouts had been unknown. I think... I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm thinking maybe since they chose this obscure way of killing someone so that they would not be recognizable, and they even made a point to, like, mention that not even age could be told or gender, I'm thinking maybe it, it could be someone else. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't care for Kinzo that much or anything, but I'm just saying that if they wanted to kill Kinzo, they could have easily gone with an easier method. You could have. But we'll see. Maybe someone else will be missing, and then we will know. I don't know. It's just kind of strange. Natsuhi Obasan with her handkerchief over her mouth and her eyes averted pointed and told me to look at the burnt corpse's feet. Huh. Oh. Uh, oh. Since Genji-san had said there were six toes on each foot, 
Ah, oh, that would be a very easily identifiable trait for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Each of the toes had been arranged so normally that I hadn't noticed. おまれの時から両足の指がそれぞれ6本でした。そして家に親方様は後ろ見分けの最高を託されたのです。後ろ見分けには昔から生まれつき多子症の方が多かったそうです。えー、interesting。うん。多分遺伝的なものでしょう。Polydactyly literally means many fingers. Because of a little mistake by God, when the person is born, one of their toes or fingers splits into two and the total number increases. <laughs> Why does Genji know Kinzo's feet? <laughs> because he's his manservant. He's been with him for years. He probably helps him get he's, dressed in the morning. He's his man. <laughs> do, you think, do you think Kinzo and Genji has explored each other's bodies? Oh, a hundred percent. Old man Yaoi, let's go. But a big deal isn't usually made of polydactyly in the world at large. That's because it isn't a disease, just something people are born with. Yeah, my, my hands have five fingers. I'm talking about my fursona, by the way, <laughs> not the real <laughs> life, but yeah, my, my hands have five fingers, but I only have four toes. Oh. Polydactyly cat girl. Polydactyly cat. Yeah, it's like, it happens in real cats a lot. It like, sure you know, does. How some cats have like really apparent thumbs. <laughs> I'd like to think I am like that too. Yeah. So while they are still babies, at about the time they turn one year old, they can be taken to the hospital and given surgery to make them normal. And someone needs to redraw a, a picture of a cat with thumbs. thumbs. But it's me. <laughs> I love cats with thumbs so much. I give them They're a big really thumbs up. <laughs> Two big thumbs up. Even a child with polydactyly can be treated before they become aware, so they might not even remember it themselves. They they can take your toes? They just take them. They just they take, take your toes. Your toes? steal them right now you know it's like people love to rave oh oh shit <laughs> shit <laughs> well bound to happen hold on thank you for redeem there we go fuck you take your toes yeah i was gonna say that like uh where did we stop right there Blah, blah, blah. Uh, huh. Uh, yeah, it's probably not that important. The polydactyly lore. What was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, thank you for lurking, Hoover. Nice to see you. I see you. Also, thank you for redeeming water. What was I gonna say? Uh, in grandfather's case, just being toasted wouldn't be enough to hide the proof of his identity, and grandfather's body was not simply burned, just like Eva Obasan and Hideyoshi Ojisan, one of those things that had been stuck in Kanon's chest, one of those demon's ice picks was stuck into his forehead. Uh, the head's ring is not on his finger, so everything is as the letter uh, last night said. Uh, father would probably be horribly disappointed. Natsuhi-san let her head droop and close her eyes tightly. Okay. Uh, this room had also become a vital crime scene for us to hand over to the police. It was decided that we would leave grandfather's corpses here and lock the room, sealing it. What was I gonna say? I forgore. Sometimes I remember, but then I forgore. Forgore. I don't remember.
Since, uh, according to Genji, the strength of the flames hadn't been that strong, the body must have started burning a long time ago. So that stench would, could slowly creep out of the furnace and fill the room bit by bit, eventually pouring out and climbing up the staircase. Putting aside whether he was rare or well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rude. Grandfather had been bro brought out, killed, and burned, even though he had started out locked away in a closet room created by his auto lock. There's probably no doubting this. However, according to Genji san, the boiler room is usually locked. The possibility that someone outside the group had snuck in and committed the crime was overwhelmingly high. And there was also a good chance that this person was walking around with uh, something like a master key. After all, the doors and windows throughout the mansion had been checked. But despite that, the culprit was able to strut around the mansion freely. After this latest crime, can we be sure that a 19th person exists? They haven't shown themselves once, and yet someone's trying to toot their existence. Along with Kireya-san's chessboard theory, does this count? It didn't spin. It's just a chessboard mention. I've been using this. I'm just excited. <laughs> <laughs> I've been using this contradiction to deny the existence of a 19th person. I'm sure it's gonna come soon. Oh, there will be. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. We got one. We got one. We got one. Finally. The very fact, uh, by flipping the chessboard over once more, the very fact that the this crime makes it perfectly obvious that a 19th person exists. Ladies and gentle cats, we got him. We got him. Yeah! <clears throat> as long as that 19th person doesn't show themselves in front of us, if the culprit could get grandfather out through the door sealed by the receipt, they could kill Ava Obasan and Hideyoshi Ojisan from the other side of a door sealed by a chain. Oh, yeah, I, I, I did not spin it yet. I forgot. I only added the number. Thank you for re reminding me that I'm actually supposed to spin it too. There we go. Ah. Uh, then is it possible for them to even create a fictional 19th person through strange tricks and devices? If we still want to believe that the culprit is am among us? Among us mentioned. Then the list of suspects is very short. <laughs> the four of us kids, Natsuhi Obasan, Genji-san, Komasawa Ba-chan, and Dr. Nanjo. One of these people has to be the culprit. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> Wait, we can't be sure of that. Just a second ago, we started doubting whether the corpse here was actually grandfather's, right? I actually... I, I, yeah, I really love the music. I don't think mm -hmm. we heard this one before. No, I think this is a new one. Maybe we can think of the other bodies in the same way. I really love when they do this, like, uh... inverted blood stain. Mm -hmm. For example, the first six all had their faces horribly smashed. Some of the bodies had uh, had kept enough of their faces for us to confirm who they were, but that old bastard, for example, had lost his entire face as though it had been peeled off. We had only figured out which body was which by their clothes and surroundings. Had the culprit prepared a fake body beforehand and disguised it to make it look like they died? when they'd actually hit somewhere after committing the crime? That is an interesting theory. Mmm. But I don't know. Yeah, like, they, they're they saying that it's, like, fairly common in their family to have six toes, so, like, maybe 
Maybe someone of the earlier victims really had six toes as well. It sounds ridiculous, but that doesn't mean it's an impossible trick. That's so weird. <laughs> Using toes as evidence? It's too early to give in to this 19th person. No, this watch. Gonna stare a hole into the wall. You're still there? Still, I'm, I'm here. Okay, yeah. Haven't heard you in a bit. An extra toe? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's harmless. It's just a variation to the genetics apparently common in their family. Oh. Yeah, they said that a lot of people will get them surgically removed. Oh, I think I remembered what I was gonna say. Yeah, uh, when oh. we were talking about the toes, I was gonna say that, like, uh... Between surgically removing, like, extra toes and, like, intersex people, people will, like, really go all nuts uh, talking about trans people, like, mutilating their, mutilating their bodies, especially, like, talking about children, but then they will just go ahead and do it uh, uh, for, like, other reasons. Oh, yeah, like, you know, All circumcision or anything. Yeah, circumcision it's like... Circumcision as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a, it's a super weak argument. It's just supremely... Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I remember, I remember, remember... <laughs> Yay for remember! I remember. You remembered. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of. Maria hadn't gone out with everyone else, but had remained in the boiler room. The thing she was staring at fixedly at was probably not Grandfather's body, but the demon's ice pig that was sticking out of his forehead. She was probably barely able to contain her enthusiasm. <laughs> Maria be like, a corpse! Cor so it's a kuwaku. Oh yeah, yeah, feel free to lurk anytime. I tapped her on the shoulder. <laughs> Get to the point, you creepy child. Beatrice <laughs> That is a fair point, actually. Like, I know she's a, a firm Beatrice believer, but like, so are the servants, I, I suppose. Oh? Do they have a deal? マリアは黄金鏡へ連れて行ってもらえるんだよ。ええ。そこはね、しがらみも何もない。すべての人たちがずっと一緒にいつまでも優しくし合っていける素敵な場所なんだよ。マリア、I <笑><笑> mm. How should I put this? <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't trust strangers who promise you a wonderful land. Um, even if they are a witch that you look up to. <laughs> the most specialist girl in the world who's not gonna die ever. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, her face! Just what kind of person is Maria? 
I only know what Maria was like six years ago when she was three. She had been pure and obedient, a good kid. This new Maria is six years later, and the Maria I knew didn't seem to fit together. She was three years old! Yeah, like, no matter what she acts like, she's not gonna resemble the three year old that she was. Three years old, like, they are, they are people, but also they do not really have a personality yet. Right. They have, like, quirks, I guess, but that's a bit different from, like, an identity. Mm-hmm. To Maria, who abstinently believes in the witch, this series of unfortunate events... <laughs> <laughs> The series of unsolvable crimes is proof that the witch actually exists. Every time something occurs that would be difficult for a human, it becomes a little harder for the rest of us to not believe in Beatrice. It must be an intense pleasure for Maria to see her relatives, who once firmly denied the witch's existence, start acknowledging that witch's existence one by one. Is that why she's in high spirits? They took her face. Maria. Mm. Oh. 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 Beatrice. Oh, Beatrice. <laughs> I was really pleasantly surprised because we got a Beatrice out of canon by at the end. We sure did. Maria had met with the nineteenth person, the witch. Which witch? Which witch? Which witch? Oh, Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> had that really been a 19th person or had there been or had that been one of the 18 who told her to say otherwise all that's certain is that maria had been with the rest of us constantly has been has always had an alibi and hasn't done anything that would put her under suspicion She's simply overjoyed at being made Beatrice's messenger, and there certainly isn't a 19th person. Supposedly. That's right. I wonder what's written in the letter we picked up in Eva Obasan and Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi Oji-san's room. Yeah, we still hadn't read the letter, because they we didn't want to entertain it. Natsuhi Obasan should still have it with her. On a takeover? Tink tonk on the clonk. <laughs> in the end, Kanon Kun did not regain consciousness. Wee, rest in peace, Kanon Kun. Rest in, rest in peace, furniture Sweet boy. Sweet angel, furniture boy. <laughs> Even though Dr. Nanjo and the rest did all they could to heal him. Kind of randomly remembered since they mentioned healing. There's a anime called Healer Girl. Yeah. That is about people who can like heal with their singing, and I think it's like so good. It's a musical anime. Really, really nice one. It's a really good time. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed Aaron it. Aaron and I watched it together a bunch. We did. It was a fun time. Healer girl. It's like really pretty too. Mm hmm The music it, is awesome. Yeah, it's otherwise very normal world, just like literally just our world. It's just healing with sound and singing is um seen as just another form of medicine. Like, there is Western medicine and Eastern medicine, and then there is also healing people with sounds. It's really cool. It's really wonderful. 
healer girl. Go ahead. There, there was very little that could be done on an island like this without medicine or proper facilities. However, Conan was the only human ever to confront the culprit. If only he could give us some kind of clue. However, at the time we carried Khan on here, it was already too late. Oh, we. Useless old man. <laughs> How fast do you think Shakira can heal someone? <laughs> Instantly. You know, it's kind of interesting. I don't think there was like a whole lot of mention of like celebrity singers because like it's also it's not just singing like you have to have predisposition for healing with your singing mm -hmm. and obviously there's like a lot of training that needs to oh, be done yeah yeah there was like a big deal made about how much training they had to go through and how much like actual medicine they had to learn so it wasn't just yeah. like you can sing and you'll do it like it's a definitely like a skill you have to cultivate yeah it's really really interesting いえ、無理もないことです。再生を尽くしてください。ありがとうございました。Dr. Nanjo sir sure. But so it was easy to imagine the devotion with which he had tried to save Conan's life. Jessica was crouched in the corridor crying in anguish. Glad to have a doctor in case anyone were to get an ouch. He's not doing anything. Like, the only thing he's doing is, like, pronouncing people dead. We can do that without him. <laughs> what about someone who can beatbox, like, really good? <laughs> Beatboxing is not exactly singing. I diagnose you with dead, yeah. She had probably been taking care of Conan until the moment of his death. George Aniki tried to approach her with words of comfort, but when Jessica pushed him away, he stopped trying to force her to talk and left her alone. Doctor does little. それに愚かにも先走った故の地獄を地獄だそんな言い方ってねえぜカノン君は犯人の姿を見つけて勇敢に立ち向かったんだいえ、言うたらジェシカカノン君は犯人は躊躇して逃げることを選んだかもしれない
Stop! 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 Get some help, Maria! Stop! I don't know. Will she really? Well, Maria certainly believes so, which is why she's not been affected, because she thinks everybody's coming back. I yeah, I don't really I don't really believe that, so I want to see what she's gonna be like when she realizes it's not gonna happen and that Beatrice is not gonna take her into a magical land Throwing hands with a kid. Jessica rushed at Maria and grabbed hold of her. Genji tried to stop her, but Jessica could not be calmed. The next thing I heard was the sound of Natsuki Obasan slapping Jessica's face. After that, Jessica's sorrowful, sobbing voice resounded throughout the hall. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed kind. They clearly showed that George still had some doubts about Maria. He hadn't tackled Maria. However, he felt exactly the same way Jessica did. <sighs> George is really going to snap one day. He really will. I know it. I know <laughs> he will. <laughs> ベアトリーチェとは誰なんだい。うん、言っても当然信じない。それはどういう意味だい。ひょっとして僕らのよく知る人物が犯人で君は何かの事情からそれをかばうために黙っているというのかい。君はあの手紙を誰にもらったんだ
。そしてそれは無理もないことだけど。なら安心して。ベアトリーチェは言ってたよ。台風が去るまでに全てを終わらせるからって。あいかい。饒舌なマリアも嫌いじゃねえが。とりあえずはそのくらいにしとけ。魔女はいるいる言ってたお前にとって。さぞや現状は愉快だろうが。ベアトリーチェランド。とりあえずそいつはお前だけで噛み締めとけ。ベアトリーチェ is going to take me to the Disneyland and then you will all be sorry。ベアトリーチェ and マリア at Disney World <笑>。Yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can see them both walking around with the Mickey Mouse ears on <笑>。<笑>他人にまで押し付けるんじゃねえ。おお。ベアトリーチェ said she's gonna buy me cotton candy and ride a roller coaster with me。こいつ。前から気持ち悪いやつだと思ってたけど。おかしいぜ。どっかおかしいぜ。バトラは思わねえのかよ。ケンジさんは、クマサワさんは、母さんはどうだよ。マリアはハニーの正体を知ってて隠してる。確かに直接手を下してるわけじゃないかもしれない。でも間違いなくハニーの一味だぜ。そうさ、スパイさ、私たちと一緒になんかいさせられないぜ。Oh Jessica <笑>。マリアちゃん。謹慎な話を慎むべき時もあることを知りなさいこれ以上混乱に油を注ぐような真似が過ぎればベアトリーチェ takes the family to Disneyland and everyone has fun and is happy forever at the end Oh boy wouldn't that be something ベアトリーチェさま said she's gonna buy me a happy meal Natsuki Obasan glared at Maria with frightening eyes. Maria was used to Rosa Obasan's loud style of scolding, but she apparently wasn't immune to this kind of silent telling off. She shrugged and kept her mouth shut. A desolate feeling filled the room. It felt as though things would just get more complicated if anyone spoke. How many people have already died? Six people in Dad's group. After that, both Eva Obasan and Hideyoshi Ojisan, Kanon Kun, grandfather. 1980s Disneyland sounds fun. Yeah, it was because all of those regulations, those pesky regulations, were in place. That's before they they forbade the Mickey's Dick Smasher. What? <laughs> oh, you don't know the Mickey Dick Smasher? <laughs> Hold on. Everybody knows Mickey's Dick Smasher. I certainly don't. Is that what? <laughs> it's a, it's a joke, but let me let me send you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Beatrice is gonna take Battler there to make his dick smasher. <laughs> okay, she would. She would. <laughs> for for, for Battler, absolutely. <laughs> oh. There were a whole 18 people on this island, and 10 of those people have been killed. Of us have been killed, and right now there is absolutely no proof that the remaining eight people will be all right. Ten people already died. Jesus Christ, that is even yep. more than I thought. Yep. Damn. 
とにかく今は仲違いをしている時ではあります犯人が寝室鬼没に屋敷内を出入りしていることが間違いなくなった今私たちは明日まで身を守ることだけに専念しなくてはなりません夏日おばさんに極めて同感だぜ<笑>犯人探しは今夜ゆっくりできるさ今はどこで籠城するかを考えた方がいい This I pointed out the clock to everyone. More than a half of them are dead, and they are still on that copium in regards to Beatrice's very existence. E yes. It was already eight o'clock at night. I'm gonna take over. Okay. We had been receiving shocks over and over again since the early morning, and both our bodies and our minds were completely tired out. There was still a long, long time until tomorrow. We needed to find some place to barricade ourselves in so we could rest our bodies and get even the smallest amount of relief. そういうこった。敵はマスターキーに準ずるものを持っている交差が高い。Yeah, it's called being a ghost and facing through the doors. マスターキーを持ってましたか。はい。勤務時間中だったなら身につけて。現場をいじらない方がいいったんで、そこまでは調べなかったのが。そもそも犯人はバラ庭園倉庫のシャッターを開けるために一度使用日室を訪れている可能性があります。そこでマスターキーをすでに入手していると考えて間違いないでしょう There were many servants serving the Shromia family Do I have any theories so far? Um I forgot <laughs> Not like at this very second I think I had some earlier About the earlier murders. Oh, yeah, I guess there is one about the person being burned in the incinerator not actually being Kinzo, but maybe being、uh, Butler's father because his face was completely peeled off. So I don't know, but it is a possibility. Furthermore, every time the shifts changed, the keys were passed between servants. And we had to acknowledge that this had probably gotten a bit sloppy at times in the past. Kari ni, Koro Sarita Shio Nin no Dareka no Pocket to Kara, Kagitaba o Haisak Stato Ste. Sono Kagitaba o Akara Nai, Anzen Abasho a r d o Ha. Watashi wa Oshimoto no Tsunojo, Sibeta no Ohea no Kagi o Azaka Torimas. Oya Shikimo. ゲストハウスも全てですつまり私たちはどこへ立てこもって鍵をかけようと意味がないってわけだ上等だぜ鍵なんかいるもんか来るなら来やがれってんだあー、but what if they like hide in the room and also put a Like the scorpion charm on the door. Techiwa Shomen Karakonayo. Saisho no Rokuni wa Tomokaku. Kasan Tachia Kanoku. So ste Oji Sama no Leo Mirukagiri. Techiwa Koritsusha Ningen Dakeon. That is true. They should all stay together. Hitohea ni Katama de Rubok Tach no Tokore. Dodo to Norikon de Korareo Hodo no Chikara n i n e そうだな兄貴の言う通りだひょっとするとおばさんのライフル銃が抑止効果として成立してるのかもしれないぜなら良いのですがマリア言いたいことがあるんだろうがそいつは飲み込んでしばらく黙ってろバトラー so done with マリア absolutely a hundred percent done Maria probably wanted to say that we just weren't afraid of things like guns or something like that. 
Let her cook. <laughs> Let her say it. She would say something so controversial and so brave. But if she were to say it out loud, the atmosphere around here would start to get pretty edgy. I had mm, noticed so and decided to put a stop to it. Oh. ほんらいなら警察のために鍵も残すべきだったのですが親方様より書斎の留守は必ず守るようにとお仰せつけられておりましたなるほどということは金蔵さんの書斎は唯一の安全地帯というわけですそういうことになりますねあの怪しげな
お父様にとっては屋敷内ですら心を許せる場所ではなくなってしまったのでしょうそこに引きこもっていたのを私たちは嘲笑いそして今度は私たちがそこに立てこもろうってわけだ<笑>ジェシカスパッドワーズアウトジェシカちゃんは立てこもるより犯人を探しに行きたいという感じだねもちろんこっちから探しに行って見つけられるなんて思っちゃいないぜ結局は待つしかないお、oh, hold on there we go ならどこで待ったって同じだろ逃げも隠れもしない客までテレビでも見ながらのんびり現れるのを待とうじゃねえかよベアトリーチ様をよ現れなければ現れないで十分です犯人を暴くのは私たちである必要がないからです正論ですな I love the sprite of Natsuhi because it looks like her eyes are like complete straight、uh, lines, so her face looks like this. <laughs> It's a good sprite. I love it. It looks exactly like this. お父様の主催に移るべきだと思います確かにお父様が連れ出された可能性があり絶対の安全が保証されているわけではないしかしバトラ君の推理のお父様が何らかの方法で自ら書斎を出て外で襲われた可能性も否定できません A while back I proposed that strange theory However, just as Evo Obasan had said, even though the trick would work, I can't explain what motive could have made Grandfather do something so awkward and then sneak out of his own study. And Grandfather couldn't have used that trick unless he had known that the receipt was fetched in the door. Evo Obasan hadn't pointed out the last part, but it's clear how absurd the theory was. Then, does that mean, as Eva Obasan claimed, that the door was sealed and the room was closed? It is a doubtless fact that Natsuhi Obasan was the culprit and that the room was a closed room?、Mm. If Obasan were here now, she would probably make that claim openly and blow my strange theory away. I already kind of miss、uh, Eva. Eva, yeah. h e r v i e was just like really caring. Oh my god, a raid! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yeah! Oh, hello! For the raid, you're so sweet. Welcome, raiders. I am Kisania. This is Aaron. I am、Hello. a cat girl of all trades. We are both illustrators, and right now we're playing Umineko When They Cry, episode one. Thank you so much for the follow, k a l u m r i Enjoy the stream. We're、uh, playing a murder mystery, <laughs> but anyway, I had to admit that a room with. Uh, with both a bed and a toilet that all eight people could be shut up in, and with only two keys, both of which were gathered here, had to be the safest place in the mansion right now. Thank you for the follow, Yuzu! Yay! Welcome, welcome, Raiders! Enjoy your stay. But feel free to go if you're tired. At the very least, I figured this would be better than just staying shut up in the parlor and hoping nothing would go wrong. Oh, you love my art! I'm really glad. Thank you, you're so sweet. But wait, have we been safe only because we've been shut up in the parlor? What if leaving that room and moving to an explored location is actually more dangerous? Ah, it's useless. It's useless. It's all useless! Zenzen <laughs> tamedase! My flimsy hat is about to break out in a fever. If I keep turning the chessboard over. <laughs> We got another <laughs> one! Number three, let's go! Number three! Going strong! 
If I keep turning the chessboard over, right and wrong will keep switching with each other over and over and I won't be able to believe anything. When it seems like the culprit is one of the 18th, I want to believe in Beatrice. And once I start believing in Beatrice, I start wanting to find the culprit amid the 18. If that keeps spinning around forever, in the end my thoughts won't have taken one step from where they started. Yeah, that's what I keep thinking. Mm -hmm. You just gotta commit to it. Yup. Is there a no good, no good at all count? I have not there encountered that one that many times. It's coming. Oh, it's, it's coming. coming when my oh, dad it's won. coming. <laughs> How far back in the past was it that Kireya-san taught me this chessboard way of thinking? The concept of examining the situation by turning it of and over and thinking from the enemy's side, does that count? Mm. Chessboard wasn't explicitly mentioned. Mm. No, it wasn't the last sentence. Mm. I'll give it I a pass. I guess that's up to you. I'll give it a pass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get the feeling that I was so interested in this way of thinking at the time that I let it guide the way I thought about everything. By the way, Kirei-san was dad's co-worker back, back then. I hadn't dreamed that the day would come when she would be added to our family. Co-worker, huh? Didn't Kirei-san tell me something? I get the feeling she once said that while well, the chessboard thinking was one way to look at things, it clearly wasn't all powerful. And it wouldn't be good to rely on it too much. どんな相手の手の内も読めるみたいで楽しいじゃないですか。でもね、盲信しちゃダメよ。ゲーム理論は非常に奥深く複雑な学問なの。チェスバンシコはその上辺だけを私なりに解釈した考え方に過ぎない
would be doing I, re I remember distinctly I studied abroad in Japan and then I lived in Japan for a year but when I was studying abroad in Japan I remember distinctly sitting in the lounge doing kanji homework and we had a couple Japanese students come up and start talking to us and they were like oh you're doing kanji and we were like yeah it's not like it's kind of hard for us they're like it's hard for us too it gets confusing like nobody like nobody likes kanji <laughs> yeah nobody likes kanji But yeah, it's like a whole mess. Yeah. Old kanji and new kanji are slightly different, which represents an introduction of noise created by the changes between time periods. Hi, Vicky! Nice to see you again! Welcome, welcome! Isn't history the same? There are dozens of policies that seem foolish in the modern era, but were meaningful at some point in the past. Because the rules of chess are fixed, when a pair of experts are discussing one particular layout, it's possible that they could reach the same conclusion whether they're from 100 years in the past or 100 years in the future. However, if the rules of chess had gone through massive changes over time, it is possible that a discussion about the same layout would have changed as well. <laughs>本来ノイズだらけなのよ。人の感情だってそうでしょ全く同じことが起こったからといって、人は必ず決められた反応を示すとは限らない。それを数学の理論で当てはめ、相手の行動を読もうとする時点で、すでに理論には弱点と限界があ
So this is the creation of the Joyo kanji list, and it's the reason why you never see any of the kanji that are not on this list used in a newspaper. So what happens in these cases is when you use a word that normally would be written with a non Joyo kanji, you either just write it in hiragana or you replace it with a kanji that is a Joyo kanji but is similar. Second of all, they were like, okay, these kanji are too hard, man, too many strokes, and so they created simplified versions of the most difficult kanji. Here are a few examples. Now at this point, China had already done the same thing as well a few decades earlier, but Japan made up their own simplified versions, they didn't just use China's, so now there's actually three versions of some kanji. Yeah, the there's no like traditional Chinese, there is simplified Chinese, and simplified Chinese, but Japanese. Okay, yep. no more different fonts and stuff, that's too hard. From now on, all kanjis are gonna look just like they look when you write them up by hand, even when they're typed. And that was all nice and dandy, except in later years everyone kind of realized that 2000 kanji actually isn't enough, and so, you know, they had to bring back all the other kanji throughout. <laughs> now this is where everything went wrong. Well, you remember how kanji got simplified and how their fonts got changed? Yeah, well when they brought back all those kanji that they had previously thrown out, they didn't bother to update the font or to simplify them in the same manner that all the other ones had been. Oh yeah, and one more thing you should know is that when they were simplifying the kanji, they didn't just make up whole new characters on a case-by-case -case basis. They would take entire radicals and simplify those radicals, and then systematically replace every kanji that had that radical with a new version of it. So this brings us back to that first word I showed you, kanna. If you were to view this word before World War II, they would have the same exact radical. But since out of these two kanji, only the one on the right is a joyo kanji, only that one got updated to the font that looks more similar to the way it's written by hand. I mean, it would be as simple as making a new font that just adjusted the little differences in the radicals so that kanji that had the same radicals actually looked like they had the same radicals, but for whatever stupid reason, the font makers in Japan don't bother to do that. Here's another example. Here is the original character for oboid. Then, since that thingy at the top is, you know, kinda hard, they simplified it to this. This is a character which means to mix, and is used in words like this one, kakuhan. Yeah, you see how the right side of this character is the same as the old version of oboidu? They didn't update it. Why didn't the right side of this character it. get updated to match the new version of oboidu? Well, that's because at the time that they were simplifying the characters, they had decided that this one was unnecessary and they threw it away, and then when they changed their mind and brought it back, for whatever reason they didn't put in the one minute of effort to update it to match all the other characters. Now, you've probably seen this radical before, it's the one that means kind of like road or street. Now before World War II, when this character was typed, it would have two dots at the top, but when you wrote it out by hand, it would only have one dot. So of course, after World War II, when they made all the typed fonts look like handwritten fonts, they decided to only put one dot at the top. But then wait, what's this? Oh yeah, even though this kanji is used all the time, because it's not technically a Joyo kanji, they never updated the font, and now it looks different from all the other common kanji even though it's technically the same radical. Talking about how stupid Japanese kanji are, did you know that Chinese stroke order and Japanese stroke order can be totally different for the same kanji? It just blows yep. my mind how Japanese classes care so much about having the correct stroke order, when even the official stroke order in Japanese textbooks is technically wrong if you ask the people who invented kanji. And it's not just that they're different, the Chinese stroke order for characters is almost always more natural and helps you write a better looking character. For example, take the stroke order of kanarazu. In Japanese, you have to go like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and it makes like no sense. But in Chinese, all you do is draw kokoro, and then just draw a line through it at the end makes way more sense. But sometimes it's not even just a matter of stroke order, sometimes the original radicals actually get lost in the Japanese version. For example, take this character. Originally it's supposed to be made out of these three radicals. In Chinese, the stroke order is just how you'd think it would be. But in Japanese, it's like this. The hook? Okay. That's the end of my educational rant. I hope how little sense- But yeah, I really remember this video. It really blew my mind. Like, they updated the kanji, but then they were like, wait, we need more. But then they did not- they did not update the old ones they originally didn't bring in. The stroke order, um, conversation is so fucking real. Oh my god. Japanese stroke order for kanji makes no sense. And, like, they're- like, it's just so ingrained into them. I had, when I 
was teaching English, I had parents come to me and show me their children's homework, and they were learning how to write the English alphabet, yeah. and they were like, well, they're not doing the strokes in the correct order, and I'm like, it doesn't, <laughs> it, doesn't it doesn't matter, it literally does not matter, like, as long as they know how to write the letter, it's okay, whatever way they write it, it does not matter. I really don't, like, I really don't know why the strokes would matter. Yeah. No, ka kanji is such a mess. Like, I knew parts of that, but I didn't know, like, just how fucked up it was, so... Like, I, I understand the concept of calligraphy, but, uh -huh. like, this is just homework. In, mo in the modern day, it does not matter. It does like, not as long matter. as you write the kanji, it does not ma matter. If you're writing it with, like, a ballpoint pen, it looks yeah. the same. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, I think you closed the stream on my end, totally, oh. so I can't oh, see yeah, the game that's anymore. Right. That's right. There we go. That's right. Kitty san definitely said that. Chess has always been a game where both sides play by the same rules and fight with the same conditions for victory. This is why it is possible for both sides to predict the other's moves. It's possible to read an opponent because you can always suppose that they will advance with the best moves they can find. But what if the opponent is fickle or a little tired and makes a move that can hardly be called the best? Or maybe, what if the game actually has special rules? Only the enemy knows them, and they can make use of something unknown to you. Yeah, it is called me, uh, the, the smart guy not knowing how how they're losing huh. me when I'm eating me the chess eating pieces, pieces when they turn around. <laughs> Think from your enemy's perspective. This is the basis of chessboard thinking. Which means that, if you misread your enemy, the answer that you draw from the process will be complete rubbish, unless... Many times, I've thought that by using chessboard thinking, I could perceive the plans of the person hiding behind the case. However, I don't know anything about the culprit. Am I just playing in a labyrinth of thought? If Kiria san were here at the time like this. She'd probably be able to notice something with her much, much sharper thinking ability. Jessica hated the thought of m moving into grandfather's study until the very last moment. But in the end, Natsuhi Obasan persisted if we decided to move there. Oh, that we decided to move there. Everyone was already trapped by paranoia. Kamasawa-san had prepared dinner at one point, but after the case involving George Aniki's parents, the kitchen and the parlor had become devoid of people. Someone had said that it might have been death by poison. Because of that, we were unable to even touch the food that Kamasawa-san had taken the trouble to make for us. Come on, you gotta eat. The manner in which the first six had been killed was still unknown, but there was a possibility that it was poison. Of course, if this were the case, even a single person would be able to carry out the murder of six large adults. Furthermore, this idea made it seem like there was only a single culprit who was afraid of Natsuhi Obasan's rifle. And this was a very good for our emotional stability. But the fatigue and hunger were even harsher than we had imagined. Then we all went along with Kumasawa-san's proposal to go together to the kitchen and gathered some canned food, which would be hard to poison, to take in with us. That is a good idea, I was just thinking that. Hmm. Post-war society was so obsessed with canned food. Yeah. All of Kumasawa-san's efforts to reward us with just a little dinner on this savage day regrettably came to nothing. That is so sad! The food piled up on the serving car looked just a little sad. Wee. I would eat it. Poison be damned. <laughs> Poison be damned. Kumasawa-san can work a grill. 
We all started climbing the stairs. Natsuhi Obasan, who was in the lead, warily stared into the darkness with both eyes and the barrel of the gun. Would be Trichu really be afraid of Natsuki's rifle? I mean, yeah, they've been wondering about this one. Only familiar with Higurashi anime, so this should be interesting. Yeah, we're still on the first game, so now's a, still a pretty good time to join in. Because it's only going to get more complicated later. Oh, you did. Matt. Once we dragged ourselves up to the third floor, just as Natsuhi Obasan had warned us of beforehand, there was a mixture of a chemical smell and a sickly sweet aroma, a stench hanging in the air that felt like it was eating into our hands. Hmm? It's his demon absinthe. Ah. It felt like the stench was floating out from this magnificent door. It was the door to the forbidden study, which should defend against any who would enter. While Genji-san was unlocking the door, Mari was staring at the door and the doorknob with great interest. Oh, it's so Oh, he would know. Well, it's good to have a confirmation from someone who knows their shit. Exactly. Maria pointed at the doorknob. A scorpion crest. No, a design like a magic circle arranged around a scorpion was inscribed there. Eh. That design. That's right. Isn't that just like those keyholder charms that Maria gave Jessica and me yesterday? Kaseの後の魔法人は強力な魔よけ。しかも、この魔法人は相当丹念に作られていて、力がよく満ちている。魔の者であるベアトリーチェにとって、この魔法人はとても厄介だろうね。それは心強いじゃねえか。この部屋ならベアトリーチェの魔主から逃げられるってことだろう。うちの魔女様は実に頼もしいぜ。ああ。でも、
she had seen that morning, like someone had been tearing at the outside of her door with blood-soaked hands and gasped in surprise. Could it be that this witch who called herself Beatrice had tried to enter through the door to Natsuki's own room? But the magic repellent charm had been hanging from the inside, so she couldn't break through the door. So she was annoyed, so she scratched at it like a cat. <laughs> cat girl Beatrice. <laughs> それを私たちと同じ人間だ。それを確かめる必要があるってなら、やつ先にして血が赤いかも確認してやろうじゃねえか。くっそ。よくも。かわいい。Genji unlocked the door. Eight people entered Kinzo's study. And we go. Do you want to take over? Catrice. Catrice. <laughs> that has a nice sound. Grandfather's study. I had heard rumors about it beforehand, but I was still shocked. He had done nothing more than fortify it thoroughly with his occult hobbies. If Grandfather's hobby had been chasing after pop idols, these walls might be buried beneath idol posters. Thank God it wasn't. And Can they you weren't. imagine? Just Beatrice in idol outfits everywhere. Beatrice idol AU. <laughs> Even if I didn't understand it, I did realize that this room was a bundle of all his hobbies. Even so, I couldn't help but remain dumbfounded by the smell of his creepy medicine and the sweet, sweet stench that seemed to melt my head. <laughs> Cat Trinchy. Door was closed, it automatically made a clunk. I see, this is the auto lock that's activated whenever the door is closed. And there were only two keys which could open this door from the outside, both of which were in this room. In other words, this room had become a closed room. The shutter, the receipt, the chain. And now the auto lock. This fourth door had the most magnificent lock yet, and this was doubtlessly a closed room. Just to make absolutely sure that the room was secure, we checked all over for ways in or out. The window was tightly locked. That should have been enough, but just in case, we tried knocking all over the walls. After all, it was rumored that there might be a hidden door in this room. But we couldn't find anything suspicious. Grandfather's study was very large. Even though we called it a study, it wasn't really a single room. It could be divided up into four basic session sections. A study section, a bedroom section, a toilet slash bathroom section, and a section for cooking that had a sink. Yeah, it's just like Battler said. It's like he built a house inside a house. Mm-hmm. Considering how huge the mansion is, it's like a studio apartment. I see. This study has enough in it to live in. Now I understand how Grandfather could live his whole life in this room without ever leaving. He wouldn't really had a whole lot of reasons to. Nope, everything he wants is in here. It seemed that Grandfather wasn't in the habit of watching TV because there was no television or even a radio in this room. We can't do anything except to pass the time listening to the sound of the rain until tomorrow morning. Dr. Nanjo looked closely at the chessboard that sat on the table in front of the sofa and muttered. It was apparently the partly finished chess match he had been playing with Grandfather until yesterday. Ooh. The black had the white pretty well cornered, and it looked like checkmate would be reached within a few moves, the last part of the endgame. Even though checkmate had almost been reached, the endgame had been rushed, and in the end was never completed. Kinzo-san, yeah, 
決着がつきませんでしたか何でも先生わしは長く金蔵さんの友人だったが金蔵さんのことを知っているのは半分だけでしかなかった金蔵さんにはいつも聡明な金蔵さんと何かの恐怖にとらわれた金蔵さんの2人が同居していたように思うわしは金蔵さんのことを何も理解してはおらんかった特にベアトリーチェ様のことになると人が変わったようでしたっけね In the direction of Kumasawa-san's upward gaze, the portrait of Beatrice could be seen. It wasn't massive like the one hanging in the entrance hall, but small, made for this room. Grandfather probably spent every day in this room and so much of his time talking to the witch in that portrait. But who was Beatri Beatrice to Grandfather in the first place? Right now, you couldn't just explain it away by saying it was a story made by the parents to frighten children away from wandering into the forest. While eating the canned food we had brought from the kitchen, we talked together about who Beatri Beatrice was. Whether the culprit was Beatrice herself or someone pretending to be her. Whether they were a witch or a human, that was beside the point. Beatrice was his girlfriend, but you can't see or talk to her because she lives in Canada. <laughs> The woman in this portrait. Oh, wait, no, no, no. She goes to a different school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the woman in this portrait was strongly related to the basis and background of this case. You couldn't talk about this case without talking about her. Soda. Kasan. Eva Obasan Tachin. Ooh, the letter. Yeah, finally. I think here is a good time to uh, finish this stream. I am pretty tired and we're already uh, mm -hmm. on three hour mark, at least yeah. technically. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for coming, guys. We'll, re we'll resume the game next Sunday, as always, on Omeneko Sunday. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around despite, all, despite the mic problems I've had earlier where the hell do I save <laughs> but yeah uh, I just thought this would be a nice little cliffhanger so that we can read the letter next time oh mm -hmm. we're already on page two. page two heck yeah heck yeah 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 really good time as always Me too. I love umideko Sundays See you guys next week. Thank you for joining me today, Aaron. Of course, it's always a pleasure. Yay. Thank you for coming, everyone. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. 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 Das Vidanya.